do you do a lot of things with AI nowadays? We're moving into it more and more. I mean, everybody is. You kind of have to. And what are the use cases for agentic AI that you find the most interesting? Well, I've been working a lot with observability data lately and seeing how agentic AI is being used there to find problems before anybody even sees that they are there. So it's like troubleshooting, finding uh, potential problems before they become real problems has been a real big key use of AI in, in observability. So the biggest value there, you already saw some kind of biggest value bringing from AI? Yeah, I mean, it's huge value because if you can find problems that are like potential hacks of things that might be coming up, potential uh, downtime, things that could be causing things that could be causing downtime, you find those in advance, you can be saving millions of dollars. So it's, it's a big deal. It's helping a lot too. What is your prediction for 2026? What is happening with AI, agentic AI, and in general, in your opinion? I think it's going to continue to grow, but I think there's going to be some rechecking, kind of like uh, pulling back a bit to double check what we're doing and why. Mm -hmm. And it's going to, they'll think it'll, it'll like, maybe like some pruning on a tree. The tree grows really fast, really you know, wild, but then you prune it back and it grows better later. So I think it's going yes. to, you're going to see that in the AI space. We're going to see some pulling back, some pruning, and then more growth that's more productive in the future. Do you see any challenges in general with AI? Always challenges. The biggest one is data. We've got to get more data in, get it more in more quickly, and get it, get it in a clean fashion. So that's always the challenge.